everyone, it's Jenna. Welcome back to my channel. In today's video, we are gonna be heading out to TJ Maxx and I'm just gonna kinda of take you guys through the store and show you some of the things that I personally look for to make my home look and feel expensive. And you guys will see a lot of these items parallel high-end designer pieces and you can get them for a fraction of the price. It is insane. So we're gonna go there, check it out. I'll show you guys what I look for and then we're gonna come back home and I'm gonna show you everything that I bought and how I style it in my space. So should be a really fun video. And without further ado, let's go to TJ Maxx. Okay, so one of the things I really like to look for at TJ Maxx are home accessories made of marble. And marble is one of those materials that tends to be really expensive, and here you can get it at such great prices. I love incorporating marble into my decor because it's a natural stone, so it always really helps ground everything and just keeps it feeling very down to earth, especially when you mix it with other earthy materials like wood or linen. I just feel like it really helps give off a high-end designer look. I spotted these bookends that were a spitting image of ones currently being sold on West Elm for $36. And these guys weren't even one fourth of the price and they look exactly the same. Something I also really love to look for are marble, mortar, and pestles. And I think that these make such gorgeous, simplistic decor to display out in a little grouping on a countertop. I love the groove detail in this one. And they always have so many different ones to choose from, both large and small. And they almost always are under $15, which is such a steal. And occasionally I like to look for marble cutting boards also because I think they look really pretty popped up against a backsplash. They always have such a great variety here and I love the gold handle detail on this one. It also came with a knife as well. And this one even had cute little gold bees on it which I think would be such a fun aesthetic detail if you use this as a charcuterie board. Another thing I always buy here almost exclusively are my soaps and they just have some really pretty neutral designer looking dispensers. And I feel like a lot of designers right now are either using very simplistic glass dispensers or you know more apothecary like soaps and the days of matching your dispenser to your trash can and tissue cover are long gone and it's more about mixing and matching and having a more custom curated look to your soap products so they have a lot of different choices here all with really great labels that are you know more of the neutral tone so they can fit in with lots of different decor styles so another thing that is really affordable but I think looks and feels really expensive to have in your bathroom are bath salts or bath teas and adding these to your baths can feel like a very luxurious experience and you can get lots of uses out of these jars that are usually under $10. So you can even display them out in more aesthetic jars if you want, but I was really loving this one with its vintage apothecary vibe and I think that for $8 it would make such a pretty and functional addition to a bathroom paired with maybe a natural looking sponge to just kind of freshen up a countertop or a windowsill and just really give it that spa-like feel. Now, another area I love to check out is the little home accessory section. I feel like I always find a steal on these shelves somewhere and I immediately was drawn to this set of boxes, which is $20 cheaper than the ones they are selling at Target. And I believe they have similar ones on TJ Maxx's website right now, so I will link them below as well as anything in this video that is linkable. I also keep an eye out for any distressed faces that I see because that is a very designer and high-end look and you can usually get them for so cheap if you keep an eye out for them. And they also have lots of trays and catch-alls here. I actually have this one in a circle shape on our coffee table and this one looks identical to one that they are selling at Pottery Barn right now for $70. So I cannot believe what a steal this was and it would look so pretty styled with a little plant or a candle on a bathroom or kitchen counter. They also have some really great tabletop plant arrangements that are priced really well and would be great accents on a desk, a shelf, a bathroom, side table, whatever. And something that I think is really fun is that once I leave the store, I typically don't see the same arrangement twice. So it's almost like going thrifting in the way that, you know, the items you take home are unique and there isn't a large amount of them that get restocked on a regular basis. So that's kind of fun. They also have a ton of stuff right now for, you know, gardening and spring decorating. There's lots of really cute and aesthetic watering cans, planters, hanging baskets and plant stands. And I personally love plant stands because I think that they're a really fun way to fill up an empty corner or space of your home that just needs a little extra, you know, bit of life breathed into it. And I personally use mine for an empty corner that I had to put some herbs in my kitchen, which is really pretty, but it's also very functional and practical. 
And a great way to elevate plants other than a tri-stand planter is just by using stools. And this one was basically an exact dupe of the dip dyed stool at Serena and Lily for $128 while this one was only 40. And speaking of Serena and Lily dupes, I found a ton of them over here in this section. These chairs are almost an exact replica of the Balboa dining chair priced at $768. And these guys were only $350 for a set of two chairs, which is a crazy deal considering how similar they look. Next up, I always check out the lighting section because I can usually find a great deal over here as well. And they have this really pretty rattan lamp for $50, which closely resembles a lamp again at Serena and Lily for almost 600 bucks. It's just missing the handles, but still very similar. And there was also this really pretty single wall sconce, which would look great in a hallway or on both sides of a piece of artwork. It looks very similar to one being sold on Joss and Main for almost double the price. So a good deal there. And you know, I feel like a lot of people go to home goods when in search for lighting, but don't count TJ Maxx out because they have some really great stuff here as well. And again, these brass looking lamps have a very high end look to them for only being $40. They have a little charger, which is nice. I think that they would look so pretty on a set of nightstands to use in place of a bulky table lamp. And then I was also really impressed by this floor lamp. I liked the two little poles and how it kind of looked to be almost a vintage detail, which I think gives it a lot of character. I also spotted this woven leather bench, which I think would look great in an entryway or at the foot of a bed in a bedroom, or maybe even paired with a large tree up against the back of a sofa or something like that. It looks a lot like the one from Saks Fifth Avenue, and I wasn't meaning for this video to turn into a dupes video, but I just think that TJ Maxx has so many items that parallel designer pieces. So I also loved this little modern rustic nightstand, which is still available online right now, I believe at the time of me recording this. So I will link it if I can, but I also love to check out the pillows here. Sometimes it's hit or miss, and a lot of times I don't find anything, but I feel like when you catch them at the beginning of a season restock, you can find some gems and I typically gravitate towards pillows with a linen-y look to them and obviously you gotta do a chop test to make sure they are choppable and have a good amount of fill and you know there was a really good deal here a pack of two pillows for only $25 perfectly choppable and I really like that they were kind of like reversible they had a crisscross pattern on one side and then stripes on the other which I thought was really fun just a really good deal and they had them in like a blue gray color and then a brownish red color as well Okay, so the first thing that I got was this really pretty string of glass beads. Now, these guys were $14.99 and they had them in a bunch of different colors. And what I really liked about these was they had them in like a light kind of blue sea glass color and then this white. And I'm personally just drawn to neutrals because it can go with a lot of different decor. Um, but I really liked these knots that it had in between. I liked the size and just the texture of the glass, how it kind of looks to be, you know, like a little speckled and aged. And I just thought that that was really pretty. I know these kind of seem pointless when you just look at them, but there's so many things you can do with them. Um, if you have a decorative bowl, you could just kind of drape these in there to you know spruce that up add some visual interest you could pop them on the top of some stacked boxes you could kind of just drape them in a tray which is what I'm going to be doing I have like a stone antique tray that I bought a while back and I'm just gonna kind of put them in there just to add some visual interest and you know make it feel a little bit more textural and like there's a little bit more of intention behind my shelf styling so they're great for putting on shelves they're great for putting on a console table or or just dressing up some coffee table decor too. So really pretty and I figured $15 for these was such a good deal because lots of designer sites have these same glass beads that are smaller and they're a lot more expensive, usually 40 bucks and up. So $15, amazing. Okay, so another find was this really pretty handled speckled vase. Now this guy was $15, you guys. That is such a good deal for something like this. I feel like when you have handles, it automatically makes things more expensive for some reason. So that is something that I look for when picking out vases. I think that this looks like a true antique piece and I love the speckles on it. I think that it has such a pretty texture while still being like lighter and brighter. I don't know, I just think it'd be really pretty to pop some olive stems in or some greenery or some florals now that it's spring. Um, I think right now though, what I'm gonna use it for is just shelf styling decor 
because it looks really pretty by itself. Like I've said so many times, I just love things with handles and I think that they can really stand on their own and just be statement pieces by themselves. They look just as pretty with stems in them too. So I love that this was only $15, super versatile. It was actually available online and then they made like a little makeshift price on it so i'm assuming this was an online order return so i'm gonna keep my eye out and i will alert you guys if this comes back on the website because i've seen it come back in stock a couple of times but i just cannot believe how cheap this was for such a pretty base okay so next i got this really cool kind of like whitewashed terracotta sculpture and it was only $13 and it was kind of in that same home decor section that I showed you guys and you know like I said I always like to keep an eye out for aged things or things that look like they're antique and I just really loved the texture on this guy how it was kind of like whitewashed and aged looking kind of like it's just been clay that's been sitting out in the elements for a while and my grandma actually has a bunch of these really beautiful Native American women sculptures that she gave me um, she made them herself out of clay so they kind of had that same whitewashed look about them and I figured I would be able to put this guy in our bedroom just because I have those terracotta sculptures on our shelves in there so I figured this would kind of you know make that look a little bit more unified and spread the you know red clay look around and I don't know I just really liked him I just thought he was cute he had character and you know when you just see those pieces that you're like I don't know why but I like that and that's what I did and so I got it <laughs> Okay, so sticking with the clay and terracotta theme, I got this really pretty aged planter. You guys, look at the beautiful coloring on this. It is for outdoor only, and it does have a drainage hole, which is really nice. So I actually bought a really large one as well. I can't hold it up here, but it was only $25 for one, like five times the size of this. I don't know. I just thought that that was such a good deal. And anything that size at even Target is like $50 and up. So I thought 25 bucks was a steal. And I think what I'm gonna do it's really windy outside so if you guys hear the wind chimes and our curtains blowing into the windows that's what it is i keep like stop talking when that happens and now i'm just like it's happening so often i'm like we're just gonna go with it but anyway so i figured what i'm gonna do with the big one is have it out in our landscaping in our backyard and just plant a really pretty olive tree in it just to kind of give that tuscan rustic grecian Mediterranean look. I just realized I've named a lot of places, but I figured it would look really resorty and just kind of, you know, a relaxing, rustic retreat in our backyard. That's kind of like the vibe I'm going for. So I figured these would be really pretty for that. I'll maybe put some herbs in this one. I don't know. I just figured this little one was $10 and the large one, like I said, was 25. And that was just such a steal that I couldn't pass them up. Okay, so next I got something kind of random, but it's this spoon and it was $6, but I really love the coloring of the wood and this is an olive wood spoon. So I'm really into getting certain shades and tones of wood to display in our little kitchen crock. I think that it looks really nice when you have like a mix of vintage spoons, wood that's well worn. I kind of try to stay away from the yellowy kind of like whiter tones. I like them to be a little bit more rich and I don't know I just saw this and I was like that's gonna look good in my utensil crock you know also this is not something that I see myself using to cook with on a regular basis I kind of got this more so for decorative purposes I also like that it has a little hole in the top so I could potentially hang it from our little utility rack on the back of our backsplash so lots of kind of opportunities with this and I just thought it was pretty and you know I know six dollars for a spoon is a little pricey but I liked it Okay, so I know I showed this a little bit already in the shop with me portion, but I ended up buying this pillow just because I loved it so much. As you guys saw, perfectly choppable, only $20. And you know, it's really hard to find pillows that have black stripes on them for some reason without any extra fluff or fringe or tassels. I feel like this is just a really simplistic, high-end designer look. I see lots of designers using pillows like this that are kind of linen-y with just a very casual stripe. I think I'm gonna use this in the bench in our entryway just to kind of spruce it up a little. It also would look really good where I'm sitting on our bench seat in our dining room. I feel like the black Black stripes really just add a little bit of contrast with still keeping things light and airy, which I personally like. So I don't know, for $20, perfectly choppable pillow with a hard to find pattern, I had to buy it, even though I don't need another pillow, you know? All right, so this next thing is how I've been drinking my water for, I don't know, the past year or so. 
I love these wellness tumblers. Now, I love this one because it reminded me of the 90s. 90s girls, can you not tell me that these colors were everything when we were little? I just, I don't know, I love pink, purple, and blue in that combo. And this was only 10 bucks and these insulate your water all night long. I'll usually just like fill this up before bed and kind of sip on it throughout the night if I wake up or whatever, or it's just good to sip on all day long. And I know they say that sipping on a straw gives you wrinkles, but I drink more water when I have a straw. So I don't care, you know? Just live your life and enjoy. So yeah, I have a bunch of these. I have like some marble ones, a floral one, and I just kind of collect them when I see a pattern I like. So like this little 90s pattern and decided, hey, add another one to the collection, you know? Okay, and then lastly, this is probably nothing new or special, but this is a sand and fog candle. These guys are eight bucks at Home Goods usually or TJ Maxx or Marshalls. You can get them at any of them. And you know, I'm just obsessed with their scents. They're a California company and they're usually just kind of very subtle, sweet, you know, earthy scents. I just, I don't know, I always like them. And this one is Ocean Mist. And this really reminds me of Pink Sands by Yankee Candle. And I was like obsessed with that scent in college and it's really expensive. So I figured, you know, hey, this reminded me of it and it was only eight bucks. And I really liked just the kind of gray blue color of the glass on here. I figured it would add a subtle pop of color to the rooms in my home. You guys can see we kind of have a little bit of a coastal thing going on so it would bring out some of those blues. So I always just keep my eye out for scents that I like in the color glass that I like. I don't necessarily pay attention to the top. Sometimes they're cute tops but you know 90% of the time you're burning it without the top on it anyway so I just throw the top away but yeah. All right, you guys, so that about wraps up this video. I hope that you enjoyed seeing my little shopping process when I go to TJ Maxx. And I wanna thank you all so, so much for watching and I will see you all in my next video. Bye.